Welcome back everyone. Today I want to cover post-show recovery phase and this is a very important subject that I believe needs to address, needs to get addressed right now because I am seeing so many people literally ruin the whole off-season within a matter of weeks post-show. Now, a couple of things that we need to consider and I will actually attach some links to the studies from here. Post-show phase, you are only susceptible to gaining body fat, not muscle. In order for your body to recover, you need to gain a certain amount of body fat to regain your natural body functions. Now, how much that is, it's actually a lot less than people think. Generally, over the course of five to six weeks post-show, I would never want to see anyone gain more than 10% of the total body weight. And that can be even as low as five, depending on how you function and your biofeedback. Now, the main markers that we also need to consider is rapid body fat gain and rapid body weight gain will not only hold you back from making progress and ruin your insulin sensitivity alongside of your lipids and health markers. It is so detrimental. If you gain rapid amount of body weight, it literally will not allow you to recover properly and get your health markers back in check. It is just as unhealthy as staying too lean. Therefore, I have to stress this and I have to cover this for people. You have to be patient post-show. You have to accept that hunger and cravings will be with you for a majority of that process. Therefore, I always explain post-show recovery phase as an extension of your contest prep because it is just as valuable and in my opinion, it is just as important as your contest prep because your post-show phase will set you up for your off-season in either a perfect fashion to be able to gain for a substantial amount of time and be healthy, or it will put you into a position where your body fat levels are already gonna be creeping up to a point where it's unproductive, food is gonna to be too high, and you are gonna be in a position where you are going to cut your off season short prematurely. That is the last thing that you ever want to do. The whole point of the recovery phase is to regain your bodily functions. Get your health markers back in check. Regain your hormone function. And more importantly, for us athletes, us bodybuilders, it is a time to resensitize your body to supplementation, training volume, and resensitize your body to nutrition and allow your body to be in as much of a responsive state as you can physically get it when you begin your off season five to six weeks post contest prep. Now, that interim period, um, actual a person called Trexler did a study on this. In trained individuals, did an actual study on people coming out of contest prep. And that is very, very accurate. I can actually attach links below if you're all interested. And it was very interesting because it has actually found that for the four to five weeks post show, there was no gain in muscle tissue. There was just mainly gain of body fat and regaining some of the muscle tissue that has been lost. Yes, granted, it has been done amongst natural athletes, but I think this is just as applicable to assisted crowd because do not forget, assistance comes at a cost and it comes with oxidative stress and all the extra stress that it puts on your body. Therefore, your body post-show is not in a healthy spot to gain any muscle tissue. However, it is primed and ready to gain body fat. Now, all the fullness that you've gained and all the size that you think you have that is not muscle. That is just glycogen, water, and adipose tissue, which is body fat. And that is a fact. Therefore, you have to remind yourself is, what is the purpose post-show? The purpose post-show is to recover and prime your body in order to be able to grow. Now, to do that, you need time and patience. I see it time and time again. People gain a substantial amount of body weight, and all of a sudden, three months after the show, they're unable to gain anymore. They're unable to eat anymore the appetite's through the floor and the blood sugars are extremely high because they're just fat. That is not a place where you want to be. You want to be able to gain for three to five to six months post-show in a linear fashion, gaining at approximately 0.5% to a percent of body weight per week. Now for me, personally, I will aim for a pound to maximum a pound and a half per week once my off-season begins. Anything more than this, I can promise you, you're not gaining muscle tissue. Now, Let's be smart about this, guys. When was the last time you went to a butcher's and you bought some meat and you put it on the scales, right? Do you understand how much tissue is in a pound of meat? It's an enormous amount of muscle. Therefore, if you're gaining two to three pounds per week, I can promise you 
the majority of that is body fat. At such a high and such a fast rate of gain, you are only setting yourself up for failure towards your off season. Now, I don't really like to work off ratios, but again, as a rough figure and a reference point, guys, you need to make sure that your sleep returns back to normal, your sex drive, and somewhat you bring your body to a place where you're not constantly starving and fatigued. So the main factors that you need to consider is your fatigue management, your sleep, your recovery, and your ability to train. These are the factors that you need to work from when you are committing to a recovery phase. You are not looking to gain muscle. You're not looking to push your body weight up in this phase. You are looking to prime your body to grow once you have gone past this hurdle and your body has fully recovered. That is paramount, paramount to set your body to a very successful off season. How much body weight you will need, that's going to be individual. However, I can promise you guys, if you gain too much, that will make you feel just as bad as not gaining enough because I see it time and time again, people experience high fatigue and poor health outcomes through gaining too much body weight too quick. And that has such a damaging effect to your body. So that's something you have to consider. Slow and steady wins the race and being patient truly pays off in this sport. Now I'm not telling you to stay lean. That is not what I'm saying. Bring your body fat up to a healthy level, but do not allow yourself to get fat prematurely guys. That will only hold you back from making progress long-term. Now, another thing that I want to mention before we wrap this up is something extremely important and that is differentiating being hungry and craving. Now, my favorite method to this, and I'm gonna give you a couple of examples is, are you truly hungry or are you truly craving? That's something I've been speaking to a lot of clients this week. Now, the biggest difference is, if you're truly starving, if I put a pot of unflavored casein, which tastes horrible, and a raw carrot in front of you, right? If you're truly starving and truly hungry, you would eat both. If you're just craving shit after you've eaten your meal, you're not truly that hungry because you wouldn't touch them. All you are doing is craving. Now, if you really sit down and think about it, the want to eat and the need to eat is completely different. If you have found yourself eating a meal and you still think you're hungry, take a moment to sit back and think to yourself, am I truly hungry or am I just craving? And refer back to the example I've just given you guys. Hopefully this helps guys. Again, quick reminder, what is your purpose of post-show phase? It's to prime your body to grow. Doing a rebound, all it's going to do, guys, is the traditional rebound. Again, we don't do rebounds. The traditional rebound, all it's going to do is hold you back from making progress long-term and take away from your off-season when the real off-season begins. Now, I hope you have found value in this video. If you have, please like, share, subscribe, and comment below, guys, for much more content coming your way. As always, I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much for tuning in and we will catch up again soon.